copy up the bullet points. You want to rock? Yeah. Awesome. I want to rock. <laughs> I want to start this rock show by saying, welcome to the Stardom Fan Podcast. I'm Mark. Yes, you are. And I'm Juno. Oh, intros are always in order. And today, <laughs> we are going to preview the Supreme Fight 2023. But first, as we record, it's February 1st, and that card game is supposed to be up. I can't find it anywhere. How come I'm not collecting stardom cards like they're Pokemon? It's because they're already sold out. The free, that... the free digital cards are already sold out? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I I stayed up all night last night trying to sleep. The whole reason I stayed up wasn't to hang out with you and the Stardom fan fans. It was that I was trying to get in on the ground floor of this uh the uh new digital card game, but I guess we'll have to be on the wait for that. Oh, you know what? The only thing I think I wanted to touch on um with our recent donations um it seems like people want a show on Tam Nakano and people want a show on Mina. So you thought let's do a Tam and Mina type thing. And I thought it's almost worth just going back through and uh, just cover Tam's history. That thing might, you know, if we learned anything from the Utami video is maybe, you know, but bite-sized pieces. So maybe if we we're doing like a Tam Mina, you throw Unagi in there because who doesn't like talking about Unagi and we just talk about their record breaking belt run. Right? That seems like a good uh, upcoming show, I think. Yeah. Well, I'll mark that down on the old Stardom fan to-do list. I was thinking like a Cosmic Angels, but just doing the belt run would be cool. Yeah, and see, in bite-sized pieces, doing the belt run of the three, I mean, and that's, you know, that's a little smaller bite-sized that, that do it all the Angels. So, I, yeah, that's good. Although the start of the Angels is something that's got to be covered someday, because, boy, is that interesting, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I won't really get into it, but Pam Nakano isn't. That's like a whole thing for the Pam video. If you do like a whole of her career, because she was in Oedo Tai, and then she was in Stars, and then she was with no, Nobody, and then she had a, and then she was a panda, and then <laughs> <laughs> and then she joined Stars again, I think, and then she decided that she wanted to be in an idol group with big breasted women and she unfortunately my you didn't make the cut <laughs> that's funny all right so that was just a couple things i had before we got into the show proper is there anything on your mind uh I, no, let's just get into the show all right um let's get into this supreme fight 2023 and the first match of the night is the only official Triangle Derby League match. We have Unique Glare, the team of Starlight Kid, Starlight Kid's friend, and Ruaka versus team classmates of Hazuki, Koguma, and Saya Ida. And I, I doubt either of these teams are going to be up for any kind of contention uh, to, to win this thing. Hey, but it's I, a marathon, not a sprint. We all, yeah. saw Huz- we all saw Hazuki have the uh, the biggest collapse in sports history. <laughs> yeah, so she, she was at she was at like fourteen points in the five star. She won like eight in a row and then never won again. Seven in a row. The oh, eight in a row would have done it. <laughs> eight in a row, she would have won it all. <laughs> um, uh, you're right. See. Hanan had it right. She lost in the five star. She lost the first eight and won the last two. So losing or ending on the winning streak, it's where it's at. Do you have any feeling on this first match? I like. Man, I don't know. Both these teams are cool. Hazuki's pretty cool, but I think I'd rather see Unique Glare come out and 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 win. Starlight's always entertaining. Rock has been fun, and Starlight's friend. I mean, she's. Pretty good for a, a new blood girl. Um, I like Starlight's friend. All right, so you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do the old fish and keep track to, um, who wins what, who I pick, and then or uh, maybe maybe we'll do a little contest ah. between me and you. And I'm gonna pick Unique Glare to win this match. Contest, see who. 
that's funny. Last night you said Hazuki because Hazuki, and I was like, yeah, and I gave you a bunch of reasons why I thought Unique Lair was really good, and you're like, yeah, but Hazuki. And you think you won me over. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know what? Hazuki's pretty cool. I'm changing my thing. Uh, <laughs> classmates win. Oh, I think my argument was <laughs> changing my argument, but cla- classmates... Oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> I, I got the names mixed up, because we got team classmates, and then we got team, like, average age is 17. That is funny. You think the classmates would actually be the children, right? I like how Starlight Kid is just every year. It's gonna get funnier. When do you think she can she like she's a part of like young OAD? At what point can she does she have to stop saying like me and the the other kids? Well, the young bucks are the young bucks at like forty years old. So, I mean, she can be Starlight Kid until she's like fifty. Moving right. on, we agree on the classmates. The six person tag, and. Which is going to be one of the highlights of the show, not because Konami's back, but because Lady C is back with her team. Queen's Quest, Utami, Azumi, Lady C versus God's Eye in a special six-person tag against Shuri, Ami, and Konami coming back. Mm, Now, normally I would say Konami coming back, and then you would say, who, Konami? (laughs) <laughs> um, Konami coming back that seems like a just a win for God's Eye is she just a part of God's Eye now? Is yeah that's it yeah, she's, the, she's the best bodyguard Shuri could have found I want to say one of them's a liar because when she she left to deal with her health issues and then when she was coming back Starlight's like hey Konami, like, welcome back to Oedo Tai. She's like, I don't want to tag with you. I want to tag with Shuri. No offense. <laughs> and, then, and then I don't know who's a liar because Shuri said, um, did, What the hell did she say? She was like, Starlight, but she left. You called her like a loser, has been, <laughs> like, all sorts of sh- awful names. <laughs> and then Shuri was, or then Starlight had to lie. And I, I assume Starlight's a liar. I was like, No, I never said that. Yeah, Starlight. <laughs> you assume starlight's a liar she is the biggest bad guy in the world (laughs) and so awesome so yeah i think that this like shapes up for god's eye to win but i mean all right if all right well i'm gonna say that god that god's eye is gonna win but i had to pick like there's a reason why they don't win it's because lady c just had a match with my my hemi with c uh, against the Triangle Derby against the God's Eye team, or not God's Eye, Queen's Quest team, which is, I'm assuming is the rest of Queen's Quest. That matters, anyway. And then she took it straight to Tommy the whole match. And then after the match, um, Tommy was, was, was thinking on it, because she's, like, the best, I feel like the best leader out of all these groups. And oh, yeah, if she, obviously. If she, if she's a cosmic angel, she's like, why did you hit me so hard? Because <laughs> they cry when they win, they cry when they lose, cry when they draw. But Utami just, like, probably rolled up her sleeves, cracked open a beer, and was like, you know what? That was pretty cool. <laughs> the, the, C, the C stands for pretty cool. I do like the angel take that where they always cry. Saya Kamatani, is there a point where she should just be an angel and not a member of Queen's Quest? I, uh, you know what? If you took away Saya that, Saya Kamatani was... does cry a lot. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. As far as this match goes, if we take away the fact, which apparently you probably can't, that uh, it's yet another economy return match, and she probably wins all those matches, like just straight, just looking at uh, the two wrestle, the two teams. I actually like the um, Queen's Quest team better. I'm putting a vote up for Queen's Quest. It's going to win this match. It's going to be the upset. I think maybe Lady C just pins Ami, and now she goes ahead and gets a chance at that Futures belt if she can, if she's still eligible. Nah, I still got to go with uh, Konami beating Azumi with the armbar. Sure how it's done. All right. Well, you probably got a a good one there. There's a special match. Mirai versus Chihiro Hashimoto. 
I don't know what to say about this other than Mariah bit off more than she could chew. This big girl comes out is to watch a, a Shuri match, calls out Shuri, and Mariah's like, yeah, you know what? I'll take you on. She had her own, in... she had her own reserved special seat at Cork and Hall. I assume Shuri invited her. <laughs> she wasn't wearing a mask, so not only did she have her own special seat, they had to give her her own uh, sections to make sure there was uh, 18 feet of social distancing. <laughs> Yeah, and then she comes to the ring after Shuri's match, and she's like, Shuri, I want to fight you, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, thanks for having me. I'm going like, to rip your head off. And then Shuri grabs the mic, and then before she could say anything, Mariah's like, I'll fight you. <laughs> With all my heart and soul. Which I absolutely believe. She is going to fight her with all her soul. And she's going to lose spectacularly. <laughs> she's not. <laughs> she's not going to have any more arms to clap, clap, clap with. Oh, she's gonna. She's gonna get. She's gonna get smooshed. So yeah, but Shuri I, looked pissed. She because she like upstaged her. She made this whole thing like I'm gonna like imagine. I don't know if you're. I'm, I, mean, I don't like making comparisons. Whatever. It's like she invites a champion from another company. Like I want to have this this match with this person. Now that I'm finally at the champion, I can wrestle people who I want. But then Mariah just, like, stole the match. So Shuri told her, like, well, you better win, which I just assumed meant, like, you better win or, like, you better find the new teammate. That'd be amazing. That's being thrown to the wolves. So I guess we'll see what shapes up after Mariah gets smushed. She's going to be more <laughs> than the Cinderella covered in ash by the time she's done with this one. <laughs> the nothing uh, Cinderella. She just called herself thing. for a while. She just, she just got herself, like, she's got a couple wins. The fans are doing her, her clap, clap, claps are back. She came yeah. out at least once in January to her music and not Ami's. Like, I was feeling like the Mariah train was getting back on track. And now she's about to run into a brick wall. <laughs> well, I should check the... She's going to be pretty dev devastated physically, and then whatever is left of her probably has a match with Starlight the next night where she just steals her claps again. <laughs> all right um we can try to talk about what this uh <laughs> i love it i love it um where do we start the next match is gonna be the roulette match and the naniwa roulette the naniwa roulette single elimination tournament to determine to determine a to number determine. one contender to any stardom championship um, I think I have, well, we're also looking at the pictures, but uh, do we know who to be announced is? Because other than that, I will roll through the other people that I know who are in it. I just always assume it's someone else in the, that's already wrestled. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think we talked about <laughs> it being like one of the super muscle girls, like that big, tall, extra super muscle girl. So that's that a possibility. Super, the super strong, st tall starter machine? Yeah, that one. And then also in this roulette <laughs> is Mayu Komomo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a video after that. Oh man, I wish, or maybe this will only be funny to like at the end of this uh, podcast to play this video Stardom put out. There's there's like the super strong tall Stardom machine. It's like a minute long video, and then the super the other Stardom machine, the super short strong, <laughs> the green one and the black one. Mm -hmm. And they're just grunting. I don't think. I think they're from Mon Mongrovia. <laughs> I mean, they That's got the masks. That's a joke for us got, too. And they got the grunts. <laughs> and they're just grunting. And then Momo Kogo <laughs> is walking down the hall, and he's like, "Oh, oh, oh!" She's like, "What are you saying? Oh, oh. who do you want to fight? Oh, oh, oh. oh wow, that's so amazing." <laughs> <laughs> I love her English so much. Her and Waka need to be the full-time commentary with Kevin Kelly. That'd be A-OK, -okay, right? Or just her and Waka. Yeah, that'd be fine, too. Why not? That, I'd tune in just for that. I'd even watch a whole entire Azumi match, even if she was fighting uh, Nene. If those were the, the announcers. Well, the, number, the last entry in the, the Naniwa Rumble is probably Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Probably, but before Cody, we have Mayu, Komomo, Tamnakano, Natsupoi, Mina Shirakawa, Waka, 
Mariah May, my personal favorite to win this thing. My Sakurai, Thekla, Netsuko, Torasaki, Kashima, Miyu Amasaki, Yuna Mizumori, Momoka, Hanazono, and to be announced is probably the muscle girl. Who do you like coming out of this? Quite frankly, the the rules, if you want to touch on it, as far as I know, it, this is a gauntlet style match, right? Like it's not a tournament; it's sort of gauntlet style. But whoever comes out next, it's 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 based on the wheel. So this is just going to be one long match, uh, is is what I'm thinking. Is that what you, you think? The five minute match, pin, submission, disqualification, or over the top rope. If no mm-hmm. one wins in five minutes, you're both gone. You're both eliminated. So it's high speed. This is just made for a Kishikashi. <laughs> it's all she her her average match length is only two win or lose so you're <laughs> Sasaki is all about it you are right there oh my god what if she came out last and it was just Kishikasi that'd be fantastic maybe mommy's last <laughs> probably not I um I Why, said she could she could win two rumbles in one week uh sure <laughs> maybe <laughs> I, I like to see her and Mayu for the retired SWA belt. Well, Komomo says she's throwing everyone over the top rope, so if Rhea yeah, Ripley that's, that's if Mommy pick. came back, I think uh, she'd probably just dump her over the top rope because it's pin submission or dumped over the top rope. You like Komomo? What mm-hmm. about the inventor? Are we, like, because we always want to see, like, a new girl win one of these things, but, I mean, we have we have some big match girls Something here. We have tells me what tells me Mayu's going to get the, sh- the the worst luck of the draw and be the first one out there. <laughs> and do pouty face all the way to the ring? <laughs> yeah, it's like, when I thought of this, I figured I would be the last one. Yeah. So, I mean, this is this is one of those uh, matches where you th- you think a, a, a new girl can come out, but there's some heavy hitters in here. Mina, Tam, Natsu Poi, obviously the icon, Tora. To our awesome, awesome press conference translation you did, I was like, I didn't know who was going to show up for this thing. Wait, I can pull up Pouty Face. <laughs> That's how she's going to be when she comes out as number one. That's the troll face. Where's Pouty Face? Well, it could be two girls in uh, two rumbles yeah, yeah. in a two rumbles in a row. Two girls in a week start off at number one and win their uh, their their rumble, right? Yeah. Yo, five minutes times... I mean, this is going to be about an hour. No, it won't. That's if everything went the limit. All right, say this is 40 minutes. I could, I'll could. i watch the Icon Super Kick Girls for 40 minutes. All right, that's that's my pick. Mayu wins. <laughs> Mayu? All right, yeah. Well, okay, here's how it works. Either Mayu wins or Komomo does come out last. Ex- and accidentally dumps Mayu and still picks that they want to... She wants to go for the tag belts. And then Mayu still wins. Um, all right, all right. So I'm just putting Peach Rock as a team. Peach Rock wins. <laughs> Peach Rock wins. Is this Waka's first win? No. I think Waka she doesn't, she doesn't down. even, she doesn't, not only does she not win the whole thing, I doubt she gets a, a pin or even dumps anyone over the top rope. I think she I would goes, consider that I think a she, win. I think she takes Tam to the limit. I think she goes a whole five minutes with Tam Nakano and they're both eliminated. <laughs> a Broadway. Well, it's not. You know what? I would consider a that uh, not a loss. You're going Broadway against Tam. <laughs> well, That's it would cool. Be a loss, it would be a loss for both of them. But you know, uh, it's like the what was it like two thousand four Royal Rumble or something like that, where Mick Foley comes out. You see him bang bang, and he gets in the ring, and then he immediately tackles Randy Orton over the top rope, and then they just fight <laughs> back. <laughs> Walker just goes, I, if I'm going to lose, I'm taking one, one of you guys with me. Maybe she runs around for five minutes. <laughs> so, I... <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be funny. You like Komomo, though? All oh, seriousness? Not the pineapple girl? Um, not the pineapple girl. Oh. Surprisingly. Not the bubble Mariah girl. May and all 18 not, of her abs. Not finger bang. Thecla? Finger main meal. I you know you, that is cool. It would be nice if um Mariah May and Thecla ended up the uh, muscle Queen mommy the... and the fighting princess came up uh and, and got to do five minutes together. That'd be good. And she can use that name. Just throwing <laughs> it out there. All right, let's 
so we got our winners. Just a bit of interest because <laughs> we're usually pretty good at calling draws. What two girls in this uh, end up doing a draw? Like the draw territory is is somewhere along the lines of maybe the favorites, like maybe Mayo and Tam Mayo. Con- Mayo. Yeah, I was gonna say Tam and Tam and Mayo, <laughs> Tam and Mayu end up uh, maybe drawing to take the two of the favorites out of the entire thing. Yeah, I don't. That, five minutes is not a lot of time, but they get a lot of shit done in five minutes. Yeah, they work hard. <laughs> <laughs> you watch a New Japan match for like five minutes. They're not even. They're not even done stretching yet. <laughs> Jay White might have ended the match. ring. What's that? <laughs> at least if it's an Okada match. Yeah, right. Maybe you'll right. get to see it. You'll... Whoa, a drop kick! Eight minutes into the match. <laughs> That's why everyone pops for his drop kicks because the... everything else is so boring. <laughs> match number five is my Hemi winning the uh one the tag team championships and then moving right on to match number six. Saya, yeah, Kam- oh. they're gonna wear. You think they're gonna wear their. Do you think that okay, if Himika gets con or if Micah can convince Himika to come out in Himika in Micah gear, if Micah can convince Himika to come out right and they're wearing Micah gear, you know what I mean? Yes. I don't think she's wearing Micah gear if they're losing. <laughs> Himika wore those shorts once, and she was like, "Never again." How do you how do you walk in this? <laughs> It was Micah's eight-month master plan. <laughs> Sooner or later, we're going to change our gear. This time, I chose it. <laughs> it's just eight months of slowly clipping where she could. <laughs> La- lady like, sitting there at the drawing be... board. She's like, what do you want? Straps here, straps there. She's like, a nah, uh, little less on the sides. All right, a little less on the sides. <laughs> yeah, give me a right, little me less a... on the sides. <laughs> hey, give, me a, give me a two. <laughs> give me a two. Me a two in the front and one on the side. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll just uh, fade it to the back. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> she thought she was. <laughs> she thought she. <laughs> That's how Tommy got her haircut. Ha. <laughs> no, right. Least, on... I would have loved if Tommy. At least if you're gonna cut that hair, that should have been a hair match where she comes out looking cooler. Uh, she didn't come out looking cooler. Bro, Tommy just started to grow on us. Is all. Bro, bro. <laughs> she comes out with she comes out with slides. I'll lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I see Tommy come out on a scooter holding the the Queen's Quest flag, holding Randy Orton. Holding. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Randy Orton piggyback. <laughs> hey, she you you do have her on her on your music video. She has the uh, out of nowhere. So. <laughs> It's in her repertoire. She does do a, a Utami KO. Ah, oh, the wonder of stardom championship match. If if this is going to steal the show, I don't even know what the, the main event is. Because it should be right here. End the show. Freaking Momo Watanabe challenging. Well, actually, that didn't even, that's not even really true. Saya Kamatani, the champion, challenges Momo Watanabe because she's crazy. She doesn't want her belt anymore? I can't think of why. Does Momo even care about the belt? No. She's she's (laughs) out there to break bones. Yeah, basically, Momo's like, I I don't give a shit about that belt. I I sort of just want to kick your ass because I don't like you. (laughs) (laughs) So, like, you're challenging me? Like, Momo's going to sit down? She doesn't care about records. She cares about, I man, she better come out with so many wrenches in those boots. I want my I want Momo to win. I don't think she will, but I'm still I'm still gonna I'm gonna will it into the into existence and and pick her for this win. Because I honestly th- like if I'm planning for the future, I honestly feel that Mina might be the next white belt champion, and I think you've talked me into that. However, if there's anyone that Saya has fought in the past, she's gonna I don't know, break her promise. She. Shocker was crying, and she said that she's gonna hold on to the white belt until she can face Mina again. Yeah, because Saya won her match so good that like she felt bad about it. She hurt her opponent that... way too much. Did you notice that Mina, with teeth hanging out of her mouth like chiclets, never didn't cry as much as Saya did? 
<laughs> for that match. <laughs> yeah. But I like this. I like this story. The story played out beautifully. The that's just sort of what they do. It makes sense. If Sai is gonna be the longest reigning as far as wins go, white belt champion, right? It um it better be over Momo. And I sort of hope Momo wins. Is over there a Momo's, post- over Momo's half dead body? <laughs> it's half dead when she stumbles into the ring. What's your take on if there was a draw this show that this was it? I could see this being the draw. The story continues a little bit. Saya Saya technically the breaks the record. I would agree if this is this is the draw of the pay per view and that they it's what sells tickets. Yeah, and then they they have another one. Like I, depending on how uh, this goes, oh. like these. You mean a you mean a draw? I meant a, a it's the draw. Well, I mean both. <laughs> yeah, so I, I sort of agree with both. These two are so good that I'd love to see them a, a couple more times this year. And depending on how it goes, if the Mina um, I see, feud I does think, it, I think Saya wins with a wrench to the head. Red belt match of the night. Yeah, probably the second best match of the night, and it's going to be Julia fending. Her World of Stardom Championship against Suzu Suzuki. If anyone's on a roll, if anyone's on a hot streak, oh, match of the year last year at the five star. This Suzu Suzuki, if anyone can make Julia one and done, I think it can be Suzu. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You think so? Judging by your giggle, that wasn't believable. I thought I put I put my all my soul into that one, Mirai style. All of your heart and soul. <laughs> I'm gonna keep picking. You know what? I I'm, I'm gonna keep picking like who I who I'd rather see win. I would rather see Suzu win this match. Red Risa Red Risa Sarah is like, huh? Well, that's awesome. Important. I don't know if I'm the only one. I think I might be. But I do not love, love, love Julia. Well, as a great poet once said, there's those that love, love, love Julia (laughs) and those that haven't seen her wrestle enough yet. (laughs) Fair enough. Do you have any takes on this match? I I think, obviously, Julia's going to win and Suzu, unfortunately, is going to cry. Suzu is going to cry and be more pathetic than Kamatani somehow. Yeah, when Shuri beat her into submission, like, <laughs> Suzu just couldn't handle it. But this is a new Suzu. This is a Suzu a year later with a bunch of confidence, ready to kick some ass, take some revenge on this Julia who broke her heart wow. years ago. You got some hot takes. <laughs> I'm really just trying to put Suzu over. Does it sound believable? I mean, Julia's just walking into into this, being like, "Oh, that oh. young Suzu. I practically showed her everything she knows." But the the Padawan is about to become the Jedi Master here. Does, does that work? Oh, she's gonna go roll in thumbtacks and not cry, and then she's gonna the next night come and fight Julia and will cry. <laughs> That's fine. Once she owns the greatest championship of all of wrestling, Suzu Suzuki will never have to do a garbage uh, mud show death match ever again. Tell that to the better Risa, Sarah, when she fought Shuri, and she's like, you know you don't have to do this, right? <laughs> that was true, too. So You can do... be, you can be my, my better... I, I, I'm looking for a new blue bodyguard. Alright, so after this Red Risa Sarah, Suzu loses this match. You think Blue Risa Sarah comes out and she gets her chance? Are they basically redoing uh, Shuri's uh, storyline from last year? And then Julia's just going to beat up on all the same people? Julia's got a hard on for Suzu for some reason. She always wants to fight her. <laughs> it seems like everyone wants to fight Suzu. She has nothing but have great matches. And with that, <laughs> no, what I, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a good end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's end the podcast. And if uh, I want to thank anyone who is uh, hanging out with us. I, I didn't spend much time in the looking at the chat today because usually it has a life of their own and they just have fun without us just uh, hanging out, chit-chatting. And two, I wanted to keep this streamlined, a nice 
podcast version uh, that didn't take uh, four hours and didn't get too nutty. So I'd like to thank you for listening to the Stardom Fan Podcast. I'm Mark, and with me was Juno. Um, the the people who has who have helped us out monetarily, and it's been awesome. It's Hendrix, Enigma, uh, Archon Blade, Jacob, Rainbow, uh, Jacob Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh that, that's that's my <laughs> thank you rant for that i'll I'll shut up for a second <laughs> um whoa we just got five bucks from hendrix Holy hey God. and that shows up on the thing welcome to the dance floor <laughs> thanks buddy <laughs> like oh not only does he throw throw a few bucks our way and which is thanks hendrix i mean you've you've been super generous uh but like those those i the ideas the ideas keep rolling in talk about an all-star producer in that guy <laughs> and anyone should look up hendrix hendrix's uh name there too his youtube channel is uh like actually oh, i'm gonna great. say it for audio format too hendrix uh space jcs10 awesome videos awesome uh a little youtube channel breakfast like pizza baby get kawild on kawild island with some breakfast pizza That's all I got. everything we do can be found at stardomfan.com our award-winning youtube shows our award-winning podcast um also, um, other than uh, stardomfan.com, you can go to iwatanifan.com. You can go to starlightkidfan.com. All Did you great. say starlightkidfan.com? Uh, oh, yeah. 